So traditionally, the gold standard for diagnosing intracranial hypertension has been using a lumbar puncture. So where they puncture into your spinal canal and they're going to look at how much pressure is coming out with the cerebrospinal fluid. Now, that's kind of like the number one kind of stamped way to do it. However, sometimes it causes problems with people having leaks of CSF, which is no bueno. They got to get blood patches. They got to lay on the couch for months. It's not the best. So we usually start first by looking at a couple other things. Number one is we'll look in the back of the eye and we can look at the optic nerve. That optic nerve should look like a well-subscribed circle. But when you look back there, sometimes if, if there's too much pressure in the brain, you've got that nerve that's kind of like going from your brain to your eye and it's surrounded by CSF in the meantime. So if there's too much, it'll squish it. It'll squeeze that nerve. So when you squeeze that nerve, it's gonna take it from being flat to it's gonna bulge out. But when that starts to bulge out with the optic nerve, it starts to look blurry around the borders of that eye. And this is called papilledema, and we grade it at different levels based on how much pressure there is. But that papilledema can be a very good indicator that we've got too much pressure in the head. Another way that we can look at that is we can look at using an ocular CT, where we basically take a CT scan of the back of the eye, and we get slices of the retina, and we can see if there are any that are kind of being atrophied or squished, or if there are any that are swollen. And from that process, we can see if there's changes in, in the pressure in the head as well. And that can be really useful because it's not invasive. It's really easy to do. It's cheap. And it allows you to be able to like kind of get a stepwise diagnostic process into intracranial hypertension without necessarily having to go whole hog into getting you know, a needle in your back.